Hello, welcome back. It's it's medicinal. We're back with another podcast. It's been a while. I know it's always a while, isn't it? Uh, we don't have a guest today. We don't have four boxes. I can point over there. I don't know who's over there because when it saves after the edit, it could be anybody. But Harvey's waving over that side. Uh, feels it down that side. And today, Harvey's going to take the place of a guest, kind of. So it's going to be kind of mostly, well, yeah, it's going to be all about Harvey today. So <laughs> I, think, we'll I think we should say it, Dad. I think we should do it with jazz hands. All about all about Harvey and jazz hands. Can I can I give Harvey jazz hands? Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hit, hit the jazz hand. All book. about Harvey. <laughs> he did not understand that at all. Uh, Look no, at I'll, his poor little old man face. Th these things are beyond me. Uh, but yeah, well done. Well, that that's that's going to be good. That that was good. Yeah. Um, the, the questions, the questions, of course, we got like we did quick fire questions. Winnie, yeah, the other week we had quick fire questions, didn't we? So, I should ask, how are you both? So, like I usually do, how are you both before we begin? Um, fine, thank you. Yeah, are you, are you sure you're fine? You know, got like a gammy hand or, you know, like a, a bad finger? No? Nothing? Bad fingers no, are bad. Bad fingers are bad cool fingers band. Bad fingers are bad. Yeah, it's a cool band. It's, it's the name of the band. 1970s sort of, 80s sort of band. Bad finger. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll edit yeah, in an image of Badfinger and then people will know who I'm talking about. Okay. I've heard of stiff little fingers, but anyway, yeah, I do. I have a gammy finger because um, I got bitten by a cat that I fostered who got stuck under my sofa. And when I went to rescue him, he just latched on and wouldn't let go. And I promptly then fainted and hit my head and got taken to hospital in an ambulance with concussion. <laughs> Wow. And the best thing is that the cat was called Tyson. So like Tyson, as in Mike Tyson, basically knocked me out and bit me like with Evander Holyfield that time. Do you remember when he bit his ear and then knocked him out? I so did. yeah, Tyson lived up to his name and it's been four and a half weeks and I'm still on antibiotics. It looks a lot better than it did, though, so... It's feeling a lot better. I've only had the one surgery, thankfully, um, and it's starting to really feel a lot better now. I think once the nail comes off, because at the moment, it, the nail's just sort of stuck on. Yeah. So once that lifts off, it's halfway there, and then I think that will just ease all the pressure, and... Um, then I'm sure it will be absolutely fine. But I just don't know if my new nail will grow in time for my 50th in August, because I, I kind of wanted to get my nails done. But I think my get nails all your nails done. done and then just like leave your middle fingers out. They'd look really stupid, wouldn't they? It'd be yeah. fine. I don't know, get like one of those like ruby bedazzled little finger gloves. Just buy that instead. I, I could do. Well, you, you could buy, like, just false nails, can't you? So, you know, if it's not long enough in six months, then stick on a false one, maybe. Yeah, maybe. That's fashion advice on me. I was just thinking you've done this before, haven't you? Yeah. No. He often walks around with all of his accredited. Alex on that's yeah. what he's doing right now just tapping away yeah yeah he uses his knuckles to to, to, to use his phone because he can't wipe his bum nails are too long yeah oh it's so difficult yeah so difficult <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gl I'm glad your finger's feeling better because that's been that's been a month hasn't it so it must have been i got i got bitten on the 15th of january wow 
And the the only good thing that's come out of it, I mean, well, there are two good things. Tyson has found a forever home. Um, so he's been permanently housed, homed, and I'm really happy for him. And but also because I had to have the surgery and I was in a bit of a mess, then um I had to have Dominic and his girlfriend come over and spend what did they spend about eight days here um looking after me um which in the middle of a lockdown was actually really nice because yeah. <laughs> it was I think if I'd been home on my own not able to do anything and I mean the amount of pain was ridiculous I was on tramadol for it it was so painful for just what you think is just the cat bite but it was obviously infected and he'd bitten down to the bone and made a bit of a mess so I was I would have been in mentally in a very bad place I think if I'd not had that little bit of time with them so that that's a good thing that's come out of it silver just, linings and all that that is a silver like just one more thing then we'll finally get on to Harvey's podcast um did they okay. explain to you at the hospital that it might take longer to heal when you know when you went in and you said I've got MS I've got type one did they say okay it's going they, to take a while um they said it might take a little bit longer, um, but then when we got to the third course of antibiotics, um, they kind of went, you know, this it really should have healed more than it has. And I sort of went, well, would that be the type 1 diabetes? And they kind of went, well, yeah. And I went, and maybe the MS as well, because of the drugs I have to have for my MS. And they just looked at me and went, oh, wow, you double whammy. Yeah, it's going to take ages. And it was like, okay. You I kind of say, yeah. then in advance, yeah, yeah. it'll take a little while. Well, it looks yeah. better. We've seen it on the pictures. You don't need to yeah. flash it today. We've seen it. So I think put any regular updates on Twitter just to gross everyone out. Yeah. Good. I'm glad it's get, getting better. Shall we switch to Harvey and his yes. new news, new exciting news? is all about Harvey as it should be as it always yeah. should be it should always be about me exactly. yeah. yeah why not what's going on Harvey what's the what's what's new um so I have recently been struggling with my diabetes a little bit um I can't seem to control the peaks and flows and all that sort of stuff stuff you know I'm usually pretty good at it I can usually um at least get myself back in range for a day and things like that um not been able to get myself like below like say 13 14 for like about a year which is great I'm always tired you know all that kind of cool stuff that you get with diabetes um so we've changed a few things like changed like my background insulin and, and up my rates so I'm now like doing like 0.5 to 1 and think so I'm doing like a lot more insulin than I would be but it's not really still not really working um so I've been to see one of the diabetic specialist nurses at my local hospital and I'm going to be going on to a CGM which I'm thrilled about obviously as as you both know I don't really like the tech no. and things like that um because it just seems it, it's always just felt like that. It's always felt like more bells and whistles to me than it's than it's worth. Um, but I need something where I can see what what it is that I'm doing like in real time rather than being able to test my blood like four times a day. If I'm if I'm at work, I, I can't test my blood. I'm I'm too busy to be able to just stop and go, right, I need the 10 minutes to do this, this, and this. Um, whereas with that, I can, you know, I can just have my phone and just know what's going on. So I can I can do things and, and stop if I do actually really need to. Otherwise, I'll just ignore it. Um, so that's that's kind of cool, I suppose. Um, have you have you used one before? Is this like new, new, new for you? Have you never this, used one? This is this is like brand new. Like I am like for diabetes. I'm like a proper tech virgin. It's not something that has ever floated my boat. It's not something that I've ever been interested in. Um, but it was it was mentioned to me and I was like you know actually it might be a good idea to do that because I can I can actually see whether I'm going up or down rather than just seeing what the in the moment reading is and then hoping against hope that I'm doing the right thing and then 
probably not. So, you know, um, so it should be a, a lot better. But what CGM are you getting? Do um, you know? So um, they were talking about putting me on a, a Libra 2. So I know that's obviously like a newer one. Um, I don't really know anything about it. Um, I've got to go on a, a train course and stuff first. Okay. Um, before I'm, I'm allowed anything like that as you always have to whenever you get something new you have to go on at least like a day's worth of um like a seminar or whatever yeah so um I've got to do that but they were on about it being the Libra 2 because it's um a little bit more um responsive in terms of like what it will tell you for your bloods and stuff like it's just a little bit more accurate than the first Libra apparently but I don't I don't know so my understanding of it is that it's also got alarms and it can tell you when you're going starting to go high and it'll tell you when you're starting to go low so yeah. that you're able to be more proactive in treating the highs and lows before they get out of control so yeah. therefore your line is slightly more balanced yeah so that, that is what i was told um that's i think that's why that one was suggested more than anything because um continually high and then I try and fight those highs and then I make myself low so yeah. you know I'm, I'm I'm constantly fighting the battle of, of the high blood sugar but then I'm fighting the battle against myself to actually restrain myself from just going right I need to do all of this insulin and I need to not eat this meal and I need to do it you know like I'm yeah constantly battling against one or the other um so they did say you know you'll have like alarms on it so you can see whether the trend is that it's it's going up so you can set an alarm for blood sugar so you can set an alarm for a specific reading so if it went above say like 11 mm -hmm. i'd get like a notification this alarm would go off and then i could yeah. like do a unit of insulin bring it down you know if it's on like a clear path i could just like have something to eat and then do some insulin and do a little bit more or yeah um, but the same with the lows as well like if it goes down like below like 4.5 i can get like a notification so i can have something before I have the hypo and just maintain my blood sugar, which yeah. it sounds good to me. Like, you know, it, it does sound like it's going to be really helpful. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just one of those things I just don't, I n I've never wanted to put a lot of time and energy into the management side of my diabetes. Yeah. I enjoy this sort of stuff because this is community based and it's fun and you get to socialize a bit and that kind of thing. So I yeah. like this sort of stuff, like the, you know, the podcast and the, and the GB doctor chats and, and, and stuff like that. I really enjoy. I don't, I've had to, over the past two weeks, I've had to write out every blood sugar reading that I've taken. Oh gosh. And it really, it just bums me out. I'm not interested. I don't, I just want to know what it is in the moment and then fix it and start it. And when I look at the patterns and stuff, I can see what I'm doing and I can improve. And I know that, but I don't want to and I don't care it's really difficult to not just go right I'm just not doing it because I don't care and it like you know it does it happens like it'll it gets to points where I just don't test my blood sugar because I can't be bothered because I know that it's going to be bad so what's the point yeah. and I, I know that's not healthy but it's it's one of those things I think that we all suffer from so you know so do you feel that with the with the Libra 2 that you'll be perhaps a little bit more engaged that you won't have so many switch off days yeah I think because if I have that it's I don't have to engage like if you know what I mean like I don't have to be like right what is my blood sugar what is this what is that if I know it's fine I, I don't need to be interested I yeah. can just have the monitor on there and know that I'm okay and then I know if it goes so high or so low I'm going to get that notification and that will be fine. You know, I can still kind of do like regular testing like before meals and things like that, but I can take a step away from it being a, a more of an ordeal than it needs to be, you know, as yeah. as people with diabetes, it's, it's difficult enough as it is to just navigate a day. You know, can I actually get through this day without having to take hypo treatments with me? Can I get through this day without having to take an entire fucking bag of nothing with me yeah. somewhere to never use don't need it but just in case because I don't want to die um so you know it's 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 that I'm, I'm going to be able to just not be as bothered about it which mm. I'm kind of excited about I am looking forward to that part of it well, I hopefully, just don't hopefully it will lessen the burden a little bit for you if you if you use your phone 
most people, like, it's here. And I bet both of you have got your phones next to you. If you use your phone a lot, yeah. then it, it does take away a huge amount of the burden. Uh, I mean, if, you, if, you're, mm. if you're taking blood out of your fingers eight, ten times a day and making a note of what that is, or looking at the logbook on your machine, on your meter, then you've got to calculate, okay, two hours ago, I was 11. Now I'm six. How quickly is that falling? Am I going to go, go into a hypo soon? But with your phone, you just scan your sensor. If you've got it on an arm or your leg or whatever, take a look and you can go, okay, well, that, I can see in half an hour, I might be a bit low. Maybe I should eat something now. There's mm. a lot less calculating involved when it comes to And that. you see the line as well. So if you've gone from 11 to, to six, if you just had those two readings, you might think, oh God, I better do something about that. Whereas you can actually see the line may have gone from 11 to six and has actually been at six and level for the last hour that you haven't yeah. done a finger test for. So you actually don't need to do anything about it. So that's really quite useful, I think, to see that. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Because that's, that's one of the problems that I'm having with the high blood sugar. When I'm combating it, um, I, I'm always assuming because my blood sugar seems to, for the most part, just increase throughout the day. It doesn't matter how much background insulin I do, doesn't matter what background insulin I do, I've changed it a few times. Um, I just seem to be continually creeping up towards the end of the day. Um, so I will fight that continual creep, but then work like that if I've been a bit more active that day or something, you know, it will be that that's the peak the very peak of what it is that I am and I'm starting to go back down. Yeah. I'll I'll dump that extra insulin in because I'm more insulin resistant now. So I'll dump the extra in, insulin in and it'll turn into a hypo like three hours later and then Sorry. I'll be panicking about eating. My lifeline's just going off. Fine. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. She's just left. She's not bothered anymore. She's like, I've had enough of this shit. Stop did podcast. Stop talking did. about Somebody stop walks talking about off in the of it. I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. That's fine. My internet might go off in a minute as well now. Oh, so you'll disappear. Maybe, maybe That's fine. okay. We'll just keep talking about it. Don't okay. We'll get you back, obviously. I'll put, it'll be <laughs> in the edit, obviously. It's you know, one oh. of those little little segments that I can put like, oh yeah. sorry <laughs> she just gets up yeah, God. yeah so um, how about we do what we usually do with a guest and do a quick fire one minute quiz with quiz master Jules oh I thought you meant like start taking my clothes off because I was ready there but okay yeah, that, that's on that. the only fans on. site yeah go ahead Jules. yeah you're on the wrong site for that <laughs> Right, are you ready? Ready. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Salt and vinegar or cheese and onion? Salt and vinegar. Um, cheese or chocolate? Cheese. Football or rugby? No. Rugby, legs. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, strictly or I'm a celebrity? Uh, strictly, I've never seen on celebrity. Um, MDI or pump? Uh, MDI. Now this is interesting. Finger pricks, Libra or CGM? Um, I <laughs> I don't know yet. I'll finger pricks because that's what I'm doing. Um, right. But we'll see. We'll see if I enjoy it. Okay. Uh, consultant at the hospital or your GP? Uh, consultant at the hospital. Carbs or low carb? Carbs. And how many years have you had diabetes for? Uh, I've had diabetes for six years. Six years? Yeah, six years. Well done. Excellent. I like I like the rugby answer for the legs. Not interested, That's good. but That's... they've got nice legs. So I'm, a, I'm very good, much yeah. a thigh man. They have better thighs. I think rugby players do have better thighs. And they wear slightly tighter shorts. I've they could be tighter, too. but yes. Well, they could, they could, but they're tighter than football shorts, so yeah. Well, you know, it's like like 
volleyball, like with all the women and stuff, they make it sexy. Why not make rugby sexy? There's nothing wrong with that. I think rugby is quite sexy in a kind of, you know, rough kind of way, you know? Do you not think it'd be better, though, if they were wearing, like, crop tank tops and really, like, short no. shorts? Yeah. No. Think about it. Just think about it. Yeah. That's going to keep me awake at night. I like the short shorts, I do. Yeah. This is what I you feel like when you guys talk about sports. Now. You know that, right, Paul? It's what, so, I, it's what so, I feel like when you talk about sports. Oh, when I talk about sports, you, oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'll be just feels a bit left out. Yeah. out of it. Yeah. And then it's easier to snip it off and stick it in, if you see what I mean. You know what I mean with that finger. Of course you do. Oh, is that, is that what happened? <laughs> yeah, okay. No. <laughs> Don't like it. Oh no. Um still uh, working? Yeah, well I'm still I'm still working full time, like in my retail management stuff. Um and I'm also I've started doing like some art stuff on the side as well. Like I sell like bits of art and things like that now. Which is yeah. kinda cool. Like I'm looking into making some stickers, some maybe diabetes stickers. So um, okay. I'll uh, I'll show you guys later on. Um it's not for here yet because it's not nothing's ready. I'll show you guys so you can see later. But yeah, I'm I'm good at the minute. I'm I'm okay. Wonderful. What about you, diabetic diva? Sorry, I mean diabetic dad. Diva? Yeah, I'm fine. Cool. Yeah, I'm I'm all good. What? Well, well, just going back to Harvey's stickers and his artwork. I'm going to put a link down below. So when that's good to go, when you can when you can get your wallets out and buy that stuff, I'm going to put a link down below, and then you can help out diabetic me not me him me. with his new him. store yeah but i'm yes. fine i'm good i've 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 never been better except for a slightly sore shoulder but it's getting better thanks Ill. to the thanks to the joys of cocodamol it's 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 all it's all fine yeah yeah and can, can i just ask the joys of cocodamol. How, how are you sleeping? Oh, yeah. Well. Mmm. <laughs> lots. I'm allowed to take cocodamol um, four times a day. I take it once a day before bed. Five times a day. Oh, just all day. Oh, I'll put them in there. No, I take it once a day before bed. And I'm out like a light. It's a big dose of codeine, to be fair. Um, and it takes a while to wake up, but it works. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes away the pain and it's getting better. This is, this is, this has been sore maybe four months, five months, but it's getting mm -hmm. better. So maybe I can wean myself off my codeine addiction. And, yes. Uh, yeah. Be, be, be a normal person in the morning and wake up. At a normal time, before midday, and be all alert and happy. We're in a pandemic. You don't need to be awake before midday. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I mean, just, who's just, checking their watches these days, anyway? Yes, sure. Me. Just to let the audience know, everybody watching, um, there was one day I remember having a conversation with Dad where he'd taken his cocodamol on the night before, and then he'd had some issues getting up the stairs to bed. <laughs> oh yes, that's why I asked him about about how he's sleeping because I know that they affected him quite badly. Yeah, I mean the pubs are closed now, so you can't you can't go out and have six pints of Stella, can you? So you might right. have a couple of cocoa and all. They so hit the hard drugs instead. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. go for that. That's wow. the same. Although you don't, well, I suppose you do get a hangover. You kind of do get a little bit of a yeah. niggly headache. And you don't feel good the next day. It's uh, what, what I do. Yeah, that's it. You just need more. If you just keep taking yeah. more, it's fine. You're fine yeah. all the time. How's homeschooling, Dad? How's that? It's good. Is that still going well? Don't, don't abuse Cocodamol, kids. 
or at all. Oh, no, no. Or, any other, no. or any other, don't do hard, it. or any other drugs at all, really. Yeah, no. Yeah, well, maybe some, but especially cocodamol. Don't, yeah. don't use. Cocodamol. Yeah. It's, it's bad. And I only take it because it hurts so much. I'm not going to be taking it for long, I hope. Uh, it's homeschooling. So you're not taking it because of homeschooling, are you? Is part of the pain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Both of my two are good at their lessons or whatever they do at school. No, I'm kidding. No, both of my two are good. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They don't need oh, much attention. Just put them in the cupboards, give them a textbook and just say, work through that. I'll be back at lunch. Yeah. 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 basically yeah i mean read chapters one to 20 and then you'll know it all yeah i mean they know the alphabet they can count to 10 what more do they need in life go, go out and get a job so yeah they're fine they're good and i'm fine as well i'm homeschooled good we all seem to be and i wonder if it's because of the um impending vaccine but we all seem to be a little bit brighter this time round. A little bit more positive. I think so. Yeah, I th I don't I I don't necessarily think it's like actively because of the vaccine for me. I'm just just in a better mood. I'm in a better place. I'm not as worried about like the world and things like that. You know, people are behaving a little bit better. Like because everybody's kind of used to it and they're like, I'm sick of it. But if if I just do it, then it'll be over faster because they're actually getting it now. It only takes like a year for these idiots to understand what's going on. But yeah, they're, uh, so it's a little bit, I don't know, everything seems a little bit better. I'm kind of yeah. used to it now, so there's no point in being miserable and mouthy. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you've, you've had your vaccine, haven't you, Jules? Number, number one, at least. I have, yes. I had it on the 31st of January. I had the um, AstraZeneca which is the Oxford one and from from everybody else that I've spoken to um I get the I get the distinct impression that that you have more side effects with the uh AstraZeneca one um Pfizer the people seem to just deal with that fairly okay but with the AstraZeneca there's been I personally I had I felt so rough <laughs> for two to three days afterwards, I felt awful. Um, my entire body ached and I felt sick. Um, uh, it gave me a, a really bad dead arm, which actually lasted for a, a week. But, you know, what's what's three days of, of feeling like crap compared to dying of COVID, let's face it. You know, yeah. it's, it's nothing, is it? It's... It's no. like diabetes, isn't it? You know, what's a lifetime of injections compared to? Compared know, to waking being, up dead, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. How yeah. did it compare to the flu vaccine in terms of um, it was Yeah, that I found that there were much more side effects than with the flu vaccine. Um, my arm hurt more, but the... Um, centre that I went to were giving the vaccines to you as you were standing up whereas normally I would be sitting down resting my arm and trying to just relax it when when I have my flu jab and I find that if your arm's not tense then it, it, it you don't get so much of a dead arm with the flu jab so I don't know if standing up my arm was a bit tense and that's what caused it to be more painful maybe but the, the side effects of, of, you know, my joints, my muscles, my bones ached and I felt sick. Um, I, you know, I was in my pyjamas on the sofa, not moving, watching Bridgerton for the 50th time. And that was it. I, I could not do anything for a couple of days afterwards. But it's, you know, two or three days, that's all it is. Yeah. And then right as rain. I think I think most people would be happy to just cope with that, wouldn't they? A couple of days yeah. of illness, maybe not feeling too good, as opposed to. I mean, add, it, add into that that I was on antibiotics for this bloody finger as well. So, uh, you know, how much of it was feeling crappy because the antibiotics are making me feel a bit rough. 
So that might have made it worse anyway. Yeah, maybe your um, immune system was working quite hard at that point. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. yeah. Not just wore you out a little bit. Yeah. It's good. It's good to know. Anyway, it's good to know how you felt. Um, I know Harvey and I will be due our jabs at some stage. Yeah. It's good. To, it's good to good to hear what other people have had. I would. All I'd say is just make sure that you've got paracetamol in the house, paracetamol and neurofen in the house um, for afterwards, and don't don't. Don't have it the day before you've got a really busy day ahead if you can help it. Okay. Give yourself a bit of time if you can. Okay. <laughs> He's now not been recorded. Okay. No, can you go again? <laughs> oh, that was really good as well. It was good. <laughs> it was good. Just wind it back, wind it back, and then go again. Oh no, oh God, two and a half minutes, fuck's sake. It's fine, you can do loads in two minutes, go on. 30 seconds, bam. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then please click on the subscribe button below and hit the bell so you get notifications for any new videos that we add. Add any comments as well below, as long as they're nice ones, obviously. Um, we've got the GB dot quiz coming up on Thursday the 18th so if you're interested in joining then just drop me a DM at Jules B H R H on Twitter and uh, we'll get you added and we'll see you next time bye guys bye bye, bye, bye. stay safe bye